Good morning, this wonderful Tuesday morning, and my name is Fela Durotere. I'm your business doctor on Business Clinic with Fela Durotere today on STV. It's about that time of the day when we try to talk about how can we get you to become incredibly prosperous enough so that we can build transgenerational businesses that can outlast not just you, but the next generation, and, and to a large extent, improve the economy of Nigeria so that now, you know, Nigeria can take its place at where else it should be in the rest of the world. Um, one of the things that is amazing is just how blessed we are as a nation, and yet how mm, yet our people have not yet found a way of receiving that blessing into their lives. Um, and, you know, Nigeria is an incredibly prosperous nation. Nigeria is an incredibly blessed nation. But beyond the issues of leadership, and I know those are serious issues that, that you and I have to continually talk about, but the one thing that is most important to me is what are you going to do to make yourself and your family and your nation more prosperous? It's the reason why we're talking about the road to fortune. Truth be told, listen to me, um, many people do not have the idea of how to bring out the value that is in them to create solutions for the world and then be able to receive wealth. The point is not, I mean, I know that there are issues about government and governance and creating enabling environments or disabling environments as sometimes we see. But listen to me. First of all, you have got to do something for yourself to be able to create that value. You must be able to bring something into the environment. Every time you bring something in, the environment becomes more enabling. Every time you don't bring something in, the, envi the environment remains disabling. So, the last few weeks we've been talking on this series called The Road to Fortune. I said, well, for every single human being that God created, we created with the ability to add value to the world. And to do that, you must be able to go from step to step. And I know that you've been following me, so I'm going to take this. Number one, you must find your passion. You must be able to say, what do I enjoy doing? Listen to me, your treasure is in your joy. So you must recognize that. Your treasure is in your joy. There's something that makes you happy. That's where your money is. Find it. You are not supposed to be doing something that you are not happy doing. Write this down if you can. Listen, every human being deserves to do something that makes him happy and something that he's proud of. What you're doing, are you happy? And then are you proud of it? Okay? Number two, you must be able to identify your personality. The, the, listen, you're supposed to be in your comfort zone. Every time we keep talking about the comfort zone, it's as if it's a bad place to be. No. Take fish out of water and you have taken him out of his comfort zone. So you've got to be in your own comfort zone. So you find it. If you can identify what your, your passion is, find your comfort zone, the place where you operate naturally well. Then number three, your problem. What problem are you created to solve? You are a solution, but what is the problem that you are created to solve? Every time you solve that problem, you create value. Every time you create value, you will be rewarded with wealth. Number four, you must find the people whose problems you were created to solve. For some people, it is a regional people, you know. For some people, it's, it's people in a city. For other people, they're thinking, you know, all, all around Nigeria. Some, some people have already started thinking beyond Nigeria. And one of the things I'm doing is with the Advantage um, series is to raise a thousand global business leaders who will think of not just solving problems in Nigeria, but solving problems around the world, do business with the rest of the world, bring their profits to Nigeria, and build Nigeria. So you must find out, we, who are the people? Where is my constituency? Every businessman has constituency. You have the people that you are created to solve their problem. Then from there, you must develop a product. I keep saying it. A product is something that you exchange for cash until your solution can enter into some form that you can exchange for cash. You don't have a product, which means you could be very valuable, but you will not receive value. Next, and which is what we dealt with last week, packaging. We talked about how packaging enhances value. So if your value is in you, then you've got to be the packaging. I mean, the way you dress will determine how it is that people receive you. I, you know, but one of, what I'm saying is you've got to make sure that your, 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 your content is rock solid and then your presentation be well. So think about it. We've done passion. We've done personality. We've done problem. We've done people. We've done product. We've done packaging. Today, we're dealing with something else called platform. Platform. Platform is like packaging in one way, 
but it is the basis for which you have the legal authority to do business. So it's nice for you to have an idea, but you need a platform. That platform can either be what you call um, a for-profit organization or a non-for-profit organization, which many organizations call NGOs and all of that. So that's non-governmental organization. Um, and, and, and you can, so for-profit can either be that you are doing it in partnership with other people or that you are doing it by yourself. Now, depending on where you're starting from, you can do, you can set your platform as something as basic as a sole trading company, okay? Um, something that is just, you just go there and you register your business name. Please understand what I'm saying. Registration of business name varies from place to place, especially if you can get the, the help of a lawyer, but many times it does not exceed 5,000 naira. With a registered business name, you can actually open a bank account. You need a bank account to be able to receive the wealth that is supposed to come but for the reward of your value. So every single person that is listening to me today, if you don't yet have a name for your idea, you today you must find that name. You must create a name for, uh, for your business idea. Don't tell me that you, oh fella, I'm not a businessman. Everybody is a businessman. You are selling something. At best, you are selling your time and your skill to another organization. So, now hear me. Some people are, would say to you, the, well, I, I need to work within a structured organization. I need to be able, my skills cannot stand alone by themselves. Lie. There are professional television cameramen who can go and do shots for people. There's, you know, there's, you can always, no matter what you're doing, you can do it as a consultant or as a supplier to people who have a need for it. But there are many people who say, look, you know, I need, I need the comfort zone of, an, of paid employment. I need to have job security. And I say, go. No problem. Good for it. But this is where the challenge is. There are few jobs, but there's a lot of work. Work and jobs are two different things. You may not find job, which is somebody that is willing to pay you, but there are many opportunities for you to create the value before you get paid. With work, you can be guaranteed the pay, even if you don't create the value until you're caught. But with, that, with work, you have to create the value. Sometimes you may have to volunteer for it. This is my point. You must find a platform for expression of the value that you're carrying inside. Everybody needs a platform. It is the place by which you can now get paid. And you need that to be like, as, as, as in form of a, a bank account. You know, let me help you understand it. God does not bless people that don't have storehouses. You need a storehouse. And for you to get that storehouse, you need a platform. So that platform can, like I said, it can be a registered business. It can be um, a limit, you know, for, of course, which can be limited, li a liability company. It can just be a registered business name. Or it can be um, a, a partnership. Or it can be an NGO. Or it can, you know, or you can even get onto the platform of what somebody else is doing. Okay? So to a large extent, this is what I need you to remember. You need a platform to be able to get on the road to fortune. Find your own platform that will give you comfort. This is Feladrote, your business doctor, once again, saying, no matter what it is that you're trying to do this week, I really, really, like Richard Pest sometimes says, I really pray that it's profitable. God bless you, and you do great things this week. <laughs>